Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit, so how to lower or raise XP rates on your Arc PS4 server. So stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. If you want to get your Arc PS4 server set up in minutes instead of messing around in the Nitrado expert settings for hours, then go to arcps4servers.com forward slash settings. Here you'll find downloadable settings codes that you can easily copy and paste to the expert mode settings of your Nitrado server and get your server set up ASAP. And if you want to get more players on your server and grow your community, then you can add your server to the site by going to arcps4servers.com and grow your community today. Yo, what's going on? I'm Jay Carter Ray from arcps4servers.com teaching you how to be better. And I got this question a few days ago from, let's see who asked this. Can we get the picture up? Come on. Ashley Marie says, I'm using expert mode and I was wondering if you know how to set dino XP higher, but I tell him it only gives free XP points and I don't know how to do that or where that goes in. So basically, to solve that problem, all you need to do is up the XP rates on your server overall. Now, there are a variety of different XP multipliers that I want to touch on and kind of give you an idea of why you may want to touch those settings and why you may not want to touch those settings because it can be confusing if like you're just doing this for your first time and you don't really understand which ones you should change because then you may have wanted to have 15 times xp or 50 times xp across your server and then all of a sudden someone gets like 300 times xp if they kill someone or something so you might make mistakes like that so let's get into it this is um in normal settings we'll do general settings and then we'll do how to do this in expert settings so currently in general settings what you need to do is you can just type xp and that'll probably be the easiest way to get all these xp multipliers up which i do recommend but i'll show you how to find these if you don't type in xp but let's let's quickly show you this so we've got all the multipliers here this is the xp multiplier this is the XP multiplier for the whole of the server. So anything you do, it's going to be multiplied by this. So if you want a 50 times XP ser server, you'd wanna change this to 50 and just leave everything else alone. Now I'm gonna walk you through the other XP multipliers and what they do. So harvest XP multiplier is the amount of XP you'll get for harvesting something. Generic XP multiplier is the number of XP you'll get or the multiplier for XP you get when you're just sitting around doing nothing. Kill XP multipliers for kills, craft XP multipliers, the XP you get for crafting, and special XP multipliers, the multiplier um, XP that you'll get for special events. So that's basically how that works. I'm not sure what the definition for special events is, but I suggest you don't touch this anyways. The reason you don't want to touch these is because if you went in a 50 times server overall, yeah, and then you touch one of these, then people won't be getting 50 times XP for every action. For example, if you upped kill XP, which is fair enough, you could do that. If you up this to like two now, then overall, when someone done a, when someone killed someone, the XP that they would get for that would be a hundred times because it's 50 times two. So you have to keep that in mind. Anything that you change here will be multiplied by the global XP multiplier. So I highly suggest you don't change this if you just want a simple XP multiplier. Now, if you do want people to be able to get, you know, a wild amount of XP for killing someone, then fair enough, you can set this to like two times and, and all that sort of stuff. And, and, and that's fine if that's the type of thing that you want to do. But if that's not what you want to do, then make sure you leave all of these on one. Now, I'm going to quickly show you how to get this. If you, for some reason, are not typing in XP down here. You just want to scroll down all the way past multiplier and you'll see xp soon enough here you see kill xp did the other xp come before that let's quickly check xp multiplier over here so right under multiplier has xp multiplier pretty much the only thing you really want to change so now let's go into expert mode so in expert mode you want to come to game user settings any as far as i remember let's just make sure 
that is correct and then basically you just want to look on the left hand side for xp and if you've purchased one of my settings codes then you'll be able to find xp on the same line that you see over here so 133 we've got xp multiplier and as you can see it's on 100 for some reason but that's that's what we've got over here so if you change that that'll be the global xp and i think the rest of the xps aren't here because you need to either get the code from here so you can like just hover over one of these and it will show you what the code is let's actually go back to the top and type in xp so it's a lot easier to find everything so here for harvest xp the the code that you'll need is harvest xp multiplier for generic xp generic xp multiplier craft xp craft xp multiplier as you can see it's the the thing that pops up when you hover over it so you can just enter that enter an equal sign and enter the number that you want to change but if you change it in general settings first and then save it and that setting is imported into expert settings then you may have that code there sometimes that doesn't work and sometimes you'll just need to enter the code by yourself but i believe all that code should be put in here let me quickly change check game any to see if any of that code's been put in there but i highly highly doubt it because most rates are usually in game user settings so i was right to check game any the kill xp harvest xp craft xp generic xp and special xp multipliers are all located in the game any file which is really weird because we've got the other xp uh, multiplier in the game user settings file and usually you get I don't know like there's some multipliers in here there's some multipliers in the game user settings i don't know i don't know maybe this is just for like more in-depth type things and the game user settings is for like the overall stuff like maybe taming speed and and xp overall and, and that sort of stuff but yeah all the other you know lower tier xp multipliers that you probably don't want to touch are in game any so if you do want to touch it in expert mode then you just want to come over here uh, but I generally don't deal with that, so that's why I didn't know where it was because I don't use those. I only use the global XP multiplier. That's the only thing that really matters when I'm editing XP rates and that sort of stuff. But I hope this video helped you out, and I hope you understand how to use the XP multipliers on your Arc PS4 server now. If you've got any questions or any comments, any other tutorials that you'd like me to make, please leave those in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next ARC Survival Evolved PS4 server tutorial. Peace out. If you want to host your own ARC server, then I recommend renting one from Nitrado. They're also the official server provider for Wildcard. Go to jcartarray.com forward slash Nitrado to rent your own ARC server and help out the channel in the process. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long So all this warmth I share with you